first thing we need to do is to make sure your uh, software or something on your NIC card, which is the network card, it's working on your computer. And the first thing we need to do, go over here and let's just type in uh, device manager. Device manager is basically right where your network card is. Just follow with me along. Device manager, and you say enter, and I already have that. So once you press enter, I already have it in the minimizing test bar. It comes up to this point, okay? Now here, this is what I'm talking about. You have a couple options. Obviously, these tasks um, for other different reasons, but we are here specifically for your network adapter. The reason is we want to make sure it's working properly and there is no issues whatsoever. You got a Bluetooth if you are. Each computer is a little bit different, so my computer may show a couple of things which you may have or you may not have. So don't confuse yourself with the Bluetooth. Or the wireless card or the gigabit so if you have to be playing games online using a computer you will have to go into the wireless so let's just go into the wireless just in case you happen to be using your computer or your laptop as a computer the reason I say that is because there's a couple of things that you need to do in this case here the power management um, by default it's usually it's clicked or selected as turn off this device to save uh, power so you want to make sure you turn this thing off make sure it's deselected okay and then you go into the advanced mode the reason I say that is just you want to make sure um, everything is up and working uh, another thing is the driver I forgot yeah the driver is basically you need to click update the driver and you click select don't be afraid to say select and it searches for it and it finds it that's fine if it does not find it or somehow you know a better driver you want to make sure with the uh, company's device you click on device driver and you update it if you have to be on a flash drive so or somehow it's still giving you issues don't be scared is if it's already came with your computer you can always uninstall reboot your computer and it will reinstall it for you okay so there's a difference if it came with a computer it will reinstall it if you happen to be somehow you download the driver from somewhere else make sure you have that handy do not uninstall it because you will lose it okay in the advanced management right here um, you may want to go just check them out on most of the time disabled because you don't need any of that stuff uh, to be enabled because they by Windows they all come along for whatever reason it's not needed all right so we click on the device we click on the power uh, the resources and everything else so we should be good from here uh, now for those of us who are hardwired connected we want to make sure we go into the PCI uh, family controller or the NIC card so you double click this one and you just want to go along with it and to make sure it's all up and working now some of us or some of those youtubers they tell you you may not need to do any of that stuff but it's up to you if you feel like you want to change it that's fine it's not gonna hurt which is the speed and duplex most of the time by default it comes as um, auto negotiation it's selected like that so if you believe and you know 100% that your hardware is capable and able to support a gig you could select it and if it's somehow it's not working whatsoever you can always change it back for me I just select it um, regardless I just feel like I'm okay with it even though some people they said you don't need to do it okay so we did this thing already so we made sure that device manager power management is off the um, the network card is selected as a um, as one gig or auto negotiation depending on okay so the next thing is you need to do is you have to go into event um, what it's called again you go into instead of you looking for these uh, software which I'm doing it's a lot easier to stop the video write down the things that I'm telling you about uh, for instance device manager event viewer or reg edit which is I'm coming next so you click on search and you type in this time event and you can see it already highlight event viewer and when you click event viewer or you double click this one or you click just enter it 
it will pop up and in here the reason I am showing you this thing which probably most of us we don't even go there because you want to see what type of error that you are getting now I'm gonna to try to explain to you some of the error messages that I have here it may be a little bit different than what you have I already know what these issues are I could fix them but I'm not gonna go into details why because everybody is different the reason I am not going to fix them at this moment I already know the issue and the issue I will come up to you later on and tell you what's exactly what they mean so if you have any issues or a problem with any of these warning you just want to highlight it and you could read it down below for instance you could want to write down this thing the event ID now the event ID I already know what that means okay it's simply it's a this um, 1000 10,016 so 10,016 which I already looked it up and I know what that stand for distributed um, network com problem okay so that would be fixed um, into a different way it's like do you remember if you happen to have the Windows XP where you get the blue screen error this one will not give you the blue screen it will just gives you that error and it's showing you that there is an issue with the hardware uh, uh, communicating with the software but that's not a, a problem now the next one is you want to go if I want to go let's say to um, this one security SPP okay so with this one I already looked it up again it's 8233 which stands for uh, security SPP which means in other words it's a DNS failure okay uh, you don't have to worry about any of these things I'm just showing you it and then you got the red one which is 28 28 it's corrupted or missing DLL which means dynamic library link now I know all these error messages is happening due to a hardware somewhere on my network at home business I already know so before you go out there and you start making changes here and there first thing first you need to know do you have or did you install any new hardware do you have any old hardware is there any failure into your network okay so I think I covered all this stuff and another thing is you need to know if somehow you are uh, working with someone and they ask you, you need ask you what type of error you could you know uh, have a screenshot of this error and and you could show them these messages and they may help you out with okay so the next thing is we need to go now if you want to make any changes which is the reg edit now you go here and I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that the re the registry registry edit and you type in enter right here or double click it and it opens up I want to open it right now for you and this is it now here's the thing which some of us fail to say this is very important to understand what I'm saying here before you go any further please once again if you do not know even how to go into a uh, device manager and make a simple changes and you may afraid that things may not work you don't even want to be here in the registry editor registry editor is basically first of all you need to make sure you back up your computer very important if you do not know how to back up your computer you shouldn't even be here this one you are actually basically changing the registry in the computer where it could really help you for whatever problem that you have or it could really um, bring your computer to a really useless and not working again and then you have to reinstall the OS all over again so do not go there do not make changes do not delete don't do anything don't even be here and the reason I brought that up is because I could make the changes due to those errors but we're not gonna do it why because we already know what the issues with which I already explained hardware now my hardware is turned out to be what uh, for instance if you have a if you have what it's called a modem which is that's how your internet service provider brings into your home or business making sure that is up and working which is I am sure your ISP they will test out that and the next thing is your uh, what it's called the router and that will also be tested by the, your ISP from there you are on your own which means anything that you install after the router you need to make sure it's up and working now you probably say how do I know that well in the next following video which I will be showing you it basically means if you 
plug in an Ethernet cord from your computer directly to your router and you are playing games no lag no skipping whatsoever and then you plug it in anything after or from the beyond the router it means somewhere along the line that's where the issues are so it could be most likely a hub which nowadays not many people use them uh, which is gonna be a lot a lot likely is a, a switch so the switches could be sometimes due to the port uh, functionalities or the hardware itself or the uh, the bandwidth and so on so keep all that in mind before you change anything in the software the reason I'm showing you all this software is because you want to make sure everything is up and working you update your OS your computer and everything make sure whatever you do backup okay in this video I just want to show you a couple of things what's happening what's going on for those of you who happen to be online gamers such as Valorant now, if you happen to be having um, an online gamers where somehow you're skipping, that is called skipping in the game, or jerking or jumping, you know what I'm talking about depending on what you use. Now, the only reason is, is it's not your computer, it's not the game, it's not whatsoever, it's most likely it's your ISP. Now, to solve this issue, let me just show you a couple of things what you need to do. Now there's other things you could do with the net and network uh, on your computer as well as the internet. And in this case, I already opened up a couple of things, for instance, like speedtest.net or speakeasy. Now in this case, I already have the one gig. I just want to show you something here. What I'm trying to show you is, in this case, I have a pretty fast internet. Okay, you probably say to yourself, I already have 200 mag or 600, even faster than you, mister. Okay, that's not the issue. The problem is, as you can see right here, two factors that could be the problem with your, uh, the reason is skipping and jumping or jerking or whatever in the game. And most of us, we may not be able to see it unless you're an online gamer. And the best way to do it, you need to upgrade your internet service provider. And the best way to do it, if you have to have, in my case, um, Verizon, you may have Optimum or Cox or anything like that. So you may need to upgrade to a one gig, one gig or more. In this case, I already went out there and I got myself a Fios G3100 router. And believe it or not, you could even have 100 megabyte and you won't even have any skipping. Then you may need a faster internet if you are playing online gamers. So let me just show you quickly how it's being done. So from your Verizon modem, it could be optimum, it could be um, anything that whatever your internet provider brings in into your home or your business. From here, you take it from your WAM port on your modem to the WAM port on your router. Okay, and from there, you connect the rest of your, let's say your gaming, or you could be taking it to a switch, or you could be taking it to, in my case, I have a firewall. Now, if some, if for some reason you still have an issue or problem, you may just wanna simply connect your computer directly to any LAN ports that is available. So you don't have to connect it, let's say, to a pre-existing switch, and you may be having lagging or a problem or you're not sure what's going on. The only problem is if you connect it to your router, you may want to configure it to protect your network. In my case, I do have a firewall that I have to connect, to, that I have to um, protect my network. But the whole point is uh, what I'm trying to say is this is what you need to do. You need to upgrade your network service provider to a faster speed at least one gig and you will see a big difference that you're no longer jumping or skipping i hope that thing guys help you out all right so now uh we just simply basically we fix up the internet due to the fact of hardware issues and most likely that you may even also to uh, get a faster internet such as one gig but in this particular game that we showed in the first video, it did skip about three times, and here it's skipping none. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, leave me any messages or comments and subscribe.